welcome along uh, Michael, Jess and Flex alongside me this morning. Good to have your company, good to have your company as well. And we've got to start with the first deal of the day and the first deal of the window for Newcastle. It is the one they've been waiting for. Kieran Trippier is now a Newcastle player. He signed a two and a half year deal. He becomes the first senior signing under the club's new owners and head coach, Eddie Howe. The fee to Atletico Madrid is 12 million pounds plus add-ons. Uh, and this is what Trippier has had to say about the move. He says, I'm delighted to be joining this fantastic club. I really enjoyed my time in Madrid. But when I became aware of interest from Newcastle United and having worked with Eddie Howe before, I knew this was where I wanted to be. I'm aware there is a lot of work ahead of us, but I know the demands of the Premier League well and I know what an amazing club this is with very talented players. I can't wait to get started. I'm excited to step out at St James's Park as a Newcastle player. And the club also released this video on Twitter this morning. You, you look at the club, you look at the fan base, you know, it's a huge club. Um, and now the project that's happening now, it's very exciting. It's a good opportunity for me. I love challenges. I tested myself in Spain and now I'm testing myself at Newcastle. I want to win. Um, if it's in training, if it's in games, I always want to win. Um, I don't like losing. people that know me, the players that I play with, the managers that have coached me know, you know, I, I fight for everything. Um, I'll be fighting for Newcastle now. I know the position that they're in, but I want to be here. Uh, I want to help the team on and off the pitch with my experience as well to climb up the table. So Newcastle have their man. Uh, the fans, I'm sure, will be absolutely delighted. Let us know what you think. Use that hashtag transfer talk. Uh, Michael, fair to say the club wasting no time in this window to get their player. They haven't got time, have they? You know, they have to start making signings now. It's absolutely critical. It's a fantastic first signing for Eddie Howe and the Newcastle United supporters. It ticks every single box. He's not necessarily replacing anyone either. He slots straight into that side. A fantastic right wing back. Someone Gareth Southgate still thinks highly of, still trusts. We know he's good going forward, but I'm really intrigued to see the improvement he made from his time at Tottenham Hotspur under Diego Simeone, that really strict Atletico Madrid defence. It's just one of those signings. It's a no-brainer for Newcastle. It's a good start for them under the new era. And Flex, you know as well, United were looking at him potentially last summer as well in that right wing-back role. Yeah, um, we was. And I, I definitely would have taken Kieran Tripper 100%. I think he's a fantastic player. Um, exactly what Manchester United could have done with. But this is Newcastle's uh, time to celebrate. It's their time. Let's not take the shine off them. Um, I think it's a fantastic sign. And you look at the dressing room there. Um, there's some young players there that Trippier can definitely help. He spoke in his, in his um, interview about the experience that he has, um, how hard he works and, and things like that. Invaluable, invaluable. And, and where Newcastle currently are in the Premier League table, they're going to need players like that. I was watching a, a podcast with Isaac Hayden, obviously, at, at Newcastle, and he said people who know the club, people in the city, are not expecting Mbappe to turn up at the door of Newcastle. It's workmanlike players who are going to improve them now. And I think Kieran Trippier definitely does that straight away. And, I mean, he's an England international. He's a La Liga winner. He's got so much experience. He's 31 years old. I think we'll talk about that age in just a moment because um, I'd be interested to get your take on that. But, I mean, Michael, it really is going to be absolutely vital. He could be key for Newcastle. Could be key. It's just a great start for them in the transfer window. Eddie Howe is talking to the media right now and you'll hear that first on Sky Sports News from 10. I bet Newcastle fans can't <laughs> wait for 10, can they? But... Eddie Howe, we talk about other clubs. Flex talked about Manchester United. Tottenham are looking for a right wing back. The value, the fee. I'm sure there's extra add-ons as well if it all goes well. The wage. Eddie Howe won't care about that. He's the head coach of Newcastle United Football Club. He wants to keep this club in the Premier League. So he won't mind about that at all. So Newcastle fans, a good start to the morning for you. And you can hear from your head coach around 10 a.m. this morning. Yeah, and lots of Newcastle fans already tweeting. Tim Clark says a new era has begun. Quality signing. Uh, Mark Thompson says get in. Massive welcome to Newcastle <laughs> here in Trippier. I'm pretty sure you're going to love playing at St James's Park. Uh, and one more here to bring you. Kevin, he 
says, welcome to the club over the moon and looking forward to seeing you perform in our famous black and white. Um, Jess, we're talking about this from the Newcastle perspective. I wonder from Kieran Trippier's perspective uh, as a player, is it a good move for him, do you think? Oh, it's a great move. It's a, it's a chance for him to come back to England. He spent a, a couple of years out in Spain and yes, it was very successful for him, but you know, he probably wants to be a bit closer to, to friends and family at a time like this. And he's got that opportunity, particularly after there were talk uh, talks of him going to Manchester United last summer that didn't materialize so this is his chance to once again play in the Premier League touted as one of the best leagues in the world um, and an opportunity once again to show Gareth Southgate that he might be the wrong side of 30 years old but he uh, still has a lot to offer yeah, and, and at 31 years old, I, I guess perhaps no one's really thinking particularly long term because Newcastle need a player that's going to make an they impact need it now. now. They so need it now. That age, I mean, 31, I hate saying that it's old, yeah. but it, it maybe doesn't matter, actually. Don't say 31's old. Jeez. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> not old. I can confirm. That means we're all ancient. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what? You won't believe it. I, I'm, I'm actually older than Trippy. I know you won't believe it. <laughs> Doesn't add up, doesn't he? I know Trips has got a little bit of a baby face, I know. Um, no, what I would say is um, also Eddie Howe's worked with this player before, you yes. know, at, at Burnley. And, and Mark McAdam was on here talking about Eddie Howe's uh, uh, his record with British players um, and some of the younger players I know. But because he's worked with him already, I think that's going to be a, a massive plus for him. It's, it's, it's a fantastic signing. And just back to the Manchester United thing, what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Quoted 20, 25 million um, in the summer, um, and now you look at the price. Just you know, in, in now coming into January, it's drastically changed. The, so. the key is as well, you know, Newcastle are going to be linked with so many players. Probably being linked with about 500 players already. They've got to get the right players in. Whenever you do a rebuild, you've got to get the right kind of people. This is the right kind of person. It's a good start. Yeah, and I mean, lots of talk about who Newcastle were going to bring in as a manager when the new owners took over, because we'll talk about this when it comes to Manchester United in a little while. But in terms of who is in charge, it can make the difference in terms of whether a player decides to go to a club. And Kieran Trippier said himself, having worked with Eddie Howe before, I knew this is where I wanted to be. So it's fair to say that Eddie Howe has actually been a really big pool for the player to make this decision. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look, it's, they're still in serious trouble. Let's, let's get this yeah. right. But we've, you know, they had a postponement against Southampton the other week. They're going to potentially go to that game with a completely different team, the way it's going. But let's see who else they bring in. They, they won't want to look too scattergun. They said it from the start when the takeover happened. We're not going to look to make huge changes at the start. But look, let's face the reality now. They need to bring some more quality in. Good start.